the big concertina is about to kick in but let's hope that all of the drivers can keep their nose clean as we have everyone lining up one two three four five track is live and we are away it looks like a great Quite start the start he wanted e2 also dropping down a bit it's going to be three abreast heading into the first corner there's going to be contact they're going to be lapalina being forced wide along with what looks like Kassen as they are down in p3 p4 chaos going to be oh. tembrinka being all relegated all the way down to the bottom of the field as it looks like Ren Yelti was part of that and just like that in lap one we're already on a virtual safety car yeah, a lot of uh, a lot yeah, of hoping for a full safety car later on, but we own a virtual safety car, and Luke Franklin, Franklin takes the lead there. And E2, of course, didn't get off to the great start he needed, but in P5, yeah, there's a one that is really not going to have a good start, but hopefully getting the job done. But remember, those boots aren't going to make it work. And Jacob and P9 and P10 are also going side by side, and somebody's gone slow. Actually, it could have been Jacob and Korsgaard's going to try to go around the outside of the Alpine. That's going to be dangerous. Just AJ about right now on E2. Here we go, turn one. Welcome to Monza. So E2 really not having the best of races as now as they've been taken up by. And in fact, as they're going too deep into turn one, is going Alex to suck a couple of places, Alex. Also, he's starting on the soft tires as well. Trying to claw his way back with Joshua Bashford there for 14th place. Here we go, we've got Jackson now trying to change those out but it's not going to be enough that williams is up into p4 and what move it was it's a time to, to arguably perfection and now it's got two or three seconds between himself and the podium because taking up that podium quite sure where to look maybe luke might be able to make a run out of parabolica right now on the ferrari we'll see i mean just a little bit too far back yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on what's going on. But say, as it stands, say we have two yes, drivers. Frankly, now. now really hunting in Lenny Cook, the Jamaican man that got that Ferrari very close and currently leading this race. But how long can he hold him off on these boots? Only a match. Now he's giving his team man a nice toe on the DRS. They are 2.6 seconds down the road from AJ, but I think AJ is starting to reel him in. So at this point right now, both of the Aston Martin drivers need to probably think about getting past Lenny. Yeah, say, but interestingly, leave his teammate really here in the sticks, now. being unable to get past. But oh. here we go, side by side, wheel to wheel. They're going to go two abreast, heading into the first turn. It's going to be very tight, but keeping it clean and keeping it sharp is going to be Franklin. With his own Coming DRS, out. it's not going to be enough to combat Castle on the mediums. He's going to be pushing around in the start finish straight. And in fact, Cook is going to lock up heading into the first corner. Just like that, the Ferrari really falling away. If I was that Ferrari, I would be thinking Chat about being quiet. I guess it's been. Micromanaging. Lenny's finally boxed as well. I believe the other soft runner had boxed before too. So that's it. Those softs are dead. As they soft Return are to sender. Cards are on. It's a 2.2 second stop. It's so very Mike fast. out there is not happy. Whatever questions you got about McLaren, please leave me alone. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Will's gone in. So there you go. That's maybe answered one of the questions. Of who is going to jump first in the uh, Aston Martin team? Will or Bull? I think it's a good call. I think I say those hard really do have a say a bit of a, a weak point but look at that as liam is struggling between those two astons right now is sandwiched between kazan is on the tail close the door on him of course will's got by eventually it's tires that's what makes a difference a little they kind of an important thing isn't it four points of contact between the machine and the track are those big round things called tires and they are very very important in the temporal speed he's gonna get held up now by liam so, ah, uh, that's a strategy may not have worked out brilliantly for Williams, but he can get a toe from him, no doubt, but he's got to get past him as quickly as possible. AJ on softs! It's a big gamble. Big gamble there from yes, the Williams. Ten Hacken, remember, the man leading the championship. He, he's a, a pretty wise old driver. I'm not saying old, of course. He's young, but he's boxing right now. I was about to say, what's his strategy going to be? And he's answered the question for me. It's called boxing on lap 17. The wheel there, debris all over the track. We'll see if we can get a better view of that. You can see that the Rebel is just completely marooned on track. Now, how's the safety car go through a spanner in the mix? Because, of course, AJ Jackson course. is going to stick with it. So you can see him rocketing. Is it going to cost? Is it going to cost time? It is a double stack. It's going to cost a little bit. Oh, almost perfect. I don't know. Maybe a millisecond between both of the. Mate. I hope you absolutely like your 
spiciness on this race for Swift X uh, round 10. And if you guys out there in the chat are loving this, please give us a thumbs up. Gap up the road there on those fresh softs. They're pretty, they're pretty fresh because you remember they're only four laps and two under a safety yeah, so car. Here we go. They've got a couple of laps on the rest of the field, but they're hardly worn. And that is going to be an instrumental difference as AJ sets the he pace. Yield. The Yalapa liner tries to hold it as best he can, but it's going to be AJ coming out perfectly. Really using the, the extra grip of those softs to get such a clean breakaway. That could have been disaster, but the Williams has executed it perfectly. Liam battling it out too. At the moment, as Lenny Cook at the moment, the Ferrari driver is all is really, really on the on the cusp there with Will, of course. Aston Martin versus Ferrari. In the land of Ferrari, this is going to get spicy. Too much. He's going to have a great run, Thomas Will. Now on Luke, who just got the overtake done. Remember, Luke is on the soft tyres, but Thomas is going to have... No DRS just yet, actually, because we just come off a safety car. Rely on the slipstream. Rely on your brakes in the turn one as well. He needs to get that gap. Much. I'll take 17 kilometers an hour. Maybe I'll take a house in the turn one. Let's see. There we go. That's going to be running around the outside, using those softs to great effect, almost locking up. It looks like we had Hardwick. Aston Martin's are back. so close to the gravel Bravo. right there. It was literal oh, inches, but that's Hardwick ground. That's going to be a critical collision. That's going to be Cortez out of the race. Hardwick manages to survive. Safety car, He's safety gonna car. Have critical. Going in. It's not worth it at this point. I can get it for someone like Hardwick or someone like Bashi, bottom of the field and having major damage respectively, but I can't see it for the top runners. There's not enough laps to capitalize on that advantage. No matter. Select a UK IP and vice versa. This is it for sure. Safety car is going to come in. Benjamin, were you expecting Italy to be this amazing? I didn't expect it to come down to the wire. Hometown like hero. Let's see, turn one, bold and brave. Tray tables upright, seats upright. Let's go. Two more laps. And see. Right now, it's going to be Zay on board with Franklin bumping. AJ has still got a bit of fight in those softs, and he's going to have Ooh, to. He doesn't have a, a choice. Spin from Will, unfortunately. Into Regatta. And that's the Aston Martin Dole going in the wrong direction here. Canadian England driver, but don't think about it right now. Drive, 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 and there's another, there's another spin. That's Liam. Liam in the fence. Luckily manages to recover and was able to potentially limp the car home, but God, that's going to be so difficult for Alfa Romeo. E2 is going to hold firm. It's going to retain P4 for the time being. Cook has no choice but to yield in this situation. And although we were saying about Jackson and his struggling yeah, P8, time. P8, P9, checked out that battle side by side through the Lesmos. Bold and brave. Can that little fish helmet there of Joshua help him? Maybe give him a little bit of slipstream. So Rain is, is Ryan is fully down at the bottom of the field. Right, that's though, the riskiest it? or luckiest strategy of his career here in Swift X. AJ Jackson crosses the line, but with penalties, it's going to be Jasper Tanaken. But AJ still gets it's, a podium. He got to be happy. He took two pit stops. Joshua Bashford gets the driver of the day from Cody's. And why not? Started in P16, finished in P8, and he took one, two, three, four, five pit stops. Not bad. What performance despite of that many pit stops. Speed stop. one. It's the Monza, and it's one of the best podiums you'll ever find in Formula 1 because you're above the crowd, you're over the track. Shake that champagne. Monza is yours. And shake that champagne, he will. Coming onto the podium.